How do you get back into the driver's seat after you mess it up with a woman? Well, just the question, the, ra- the way it's phrased is, how do I get her attention? How do I get her to like me? How do I get her to pay attention to me? So that tells me you're in an attention-seeking mode and mindset, and that's not attractive. That's not what a man does. A man focuses on his purpose and his mission in life, and he's all about displaying attractive behavior. Just getting relatively fit and in shape. You don't have to be Mr. Olympia. You don't have to have giant, huge muscles. But just being fit and in shape or where you can wear nice, tight-fitting clothes and girls can tell that you work out. I mean, one out of every... I mean, it's like 74% of all Americans are either obese or they're overweight. And so if you can just take care of being relatively fit, you, you're you already better than about 75% of your competition. So that's one of the things you have control over. Obviously, reading the book and learning it, and then most importantly, you got to apply it to get better. And so you got to do things to put yourself... And social circumstances, especially if you're single and the relationship is over, because as a man, you're always going to be outcome focused. In other words, what is your outcome for your your mission, your purpose in life? What's your outcome for your taking care of your body? What's your outcome for your finances? What's your outcome for the type of relationship that you want to have? And so if a girl has, in essence, taken her out of the running to be your primary girl, then on to the next. It's you have to create the conditions where meeting other women, new women that you have, you can create a completely brand new experience with. And now that you have the book, you're armed with information that will help you display more of your authentic, attractive qualities to her in the beginning. So you can start out on a much higher level of interest on her part towards you and make it grow. And so it'll be easier and more effortless because if this ex or this woman that's not paying attention to you, when you stop giving your attention because you're stuck in friend zone and it's not going anywhere and put 100% of your attention moving forward, your purpose, your mission, taking care of your body and meeting new girls and improving your skills, as you get other choices and other options, you're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to be cockier. You're going to have more swagger. And so typically what happens is when the ex starts to come back, sometimes it's many weeks or months later, you're a better version of you. You're a more attractive guy because you're doing more things and you have a vibe that gives off more attractive qualities. And so when she comes back to interact with you, you're different. There's something different about you you'll often hear. And so it'll make it way easier to not only reattract her potentially, but continue to attract new women into your life And when you have many different women in your life who like you and want to date you or sleep with you or whatever, that's the best place to be in as a man. And so that's what you need to do is to create those kind of conditions in your life for meeting new women and dating new women. It's just a side effect of living a great life. And through the grapevine, your ex will hear about what a great time you're having or how hot that girl was that you went out with last week in her whatever it happens to be. And the bottom line is women find you more attractive. If other women find you attractive and want to sleep with you or are sleeping with you versus some dude that's been living in his mom's basement for the last 10 years. And all he does is sit in the basement with his bottle of lotion and run one batch after another and never talks to anybody. It's like, So women can sense that. They can sense a guy that's comfortable around women and women like and respect, and they can also sense when a guy repulses women. So focus on the things you have control over.